Hello and welcome to this video where I'll be introducing a stock with P below 1 and that should be on your watch list. So stay tuned. Before I move on, just make sure to subscribe the channel and hit the notification bell. And please smash the like button also for YouTube algorithm. The company is David's T Inc. Ticker DTEA. Stock is trading at $2 with a trailing PE of just 0.9 and insiders own almost 50% of the company, which is a strong indicator of confidence. David's Tea operates as a specialty tea retailer in Canada and the United States. It offers loose leaf teas, prepackaged teas, tea sachets and tea related gifts and accessories. This is a 50 million market cap company with a cash position of 25 million that recently report revenue of 104.1 million Canadian dollars, minus 14.4% year over year, which was in part due to the pandemic situation and supply chain disruptions. The company is emerging from a formal restructuring process through which has settled the lease liabilities and it's now accelerating its transformation into a digital-first, omnichannel supplier of specialty teas. The tea market is expected to grow annually by 5.33% CAGR from 2022 to 2025 in Canada, and this is also very good news for David's tea. CEO Sarah Siegel said, our healthy balance sheet will enable us to further increase awareness of our exceptional brand and accelerate our growth strategy. She added, looking ahead, key growth initiatives in 2022 include entering the wholesale channel in the US by year-end to support online sales in this market, in line with our successful omnichannel strategy in Canada and increasing the marketing and geographic reach of the Amazon platform while also continuing to support our wholesale and online activities in Canada. Summing it up, David's team has a strong balance sheet with enough cash to put in place its growth strategy. I don't own any DTEA shares at the moment, but with stock trading at less than one-time revenues, I'll be watching it for a possible buy in the near future. As always, keep in mind that I'm not a financial advisor and this is not investment advice. Wish you the best and thanks for watching.